if everything checks out, you think New Orleans should sign A.B.? I think that they will sign A.B. I don't necessarily know if I can sit up here and say that they should, but I'll say they will because Lewis and I talked about it on Get Up. The primary backlash will exist with the workout in and of itself. Just bringing in A.B. for a workout is controversial, but this doesn't seem like semantics. This doesn't seem like it's for show, like the Colin Kaepernick workout may have been. This seems like real deal. Drew Brees is getting older. Michael Thomas is who there is their sole dependent on offense. If you bring in Antonio Brown, all of a sudden, this Saints team, they're going for the kill. They're not just trying mm -hmm. to win a playoff game and then get knocked out. They're not trying to leave it up to the rest or leave it up to chance like may have happened last year. They're trying to win it all again. I'm not speaking of the legalities of the matter. The NFL still has to rule on A.B. I'm not talking about A.B. as a morally upright, upstanding citizen, but as a football player, Lewis, yeah. I think that the Saints can make noise with them. Look, you from a football standpoint, this is an easy decision as far as what he brings to the table. And the combination of him and Mike Thomas, look, that, that's an unguardable duo right there. We know that those are two of the best wide receivers that this league has seen over the past five years. There's no question about that. But when you're talking about this not just being a short-term play and it's also a long-term play for the Saints, that's where things get a little bit dicey here. Because I'm going to tell you this, long-term, the more Antonio Brown gets comfortable, absent him doing something as far as – getting some kind of counseling in order to change his behavior and make better decisions. Long term, he has proven that he will let you down. He has proven that he will become someone who becomes much more self-centered and someone who is not very team-oriented. And that's really – that's why he isn't on the football teams that he was on now. That's why he's not in Pittsburgh. That's, that's, why, that's why he's not in Oakland. That's why he's not in New England. And that, that to me, scares me a little bit. As far as making a short-term run and saying, hey, look, if we can, compa if we can compare these two together – with Drew, with the defense that is continuing to improve now. They've added some pieces on that side of the yeah. ball, too. Just claim to Norris Jenkins. If they're trying to make a short-term run, fine. Long-term, I don't see it. Because I just know this. A leper very rarely changes its spots. Mm -hmm. Antonio's been in the league a long time. He's already formulated his habits, his way of doing things. You can tell me Sean Payton's going to do something for him that Bill Belichick couldn't. I, I think long-term Lewis is vague. I think long term, he'll be there as long as they're in the playoffs. But I don't <laughs> yeah. know that this is going to be something that will extend into next year. I mean, Lewis is exactly right. He, Antonio Brown has proven himself and shown himself to be emotionally unstable. Multiple people have see, sought out to him and hoped that he sought help. But I don't think that this is some sort of three, four, five-year plan. Yeah. No, this is a long-term plan as long as they are in and the you know playoffs. What, you know what, let, me, let me just say this. Look, it, it's easy to go ahead and bag on Antonio Brown and say he is what he is and he's someone who you should just kind of like shun and put him in the corner. I'm not going to go so far as to say that. Look, I, I think obviously mental health, mental health awareness is something, and, and I'm not trying to make – I'm not trying to really cast any judgment as far as what the state of Antonio Brown is mentally. Just looking at it from afar, though, mm -hmm. this is someone who does need to get his life in order, yeah. who does need to kind of, like, understand that with decisions come consequences. He's erratic. Exactly. So I'm hoping that he's got that stuff straightened out, or at least he's on a path to get it straightened out. Because on the football field, Acho, there's no question. The guy is a bad dude. The guy is someone that really causes a lot of problems – and obviously, that's, how, that's the way the Saints are looking at it right now. And it really does put them, really maybe it catapults them above San Francisco Agreed. if you were to project them on their roster. Well, we do have to move on topics, but very quickly, I just want to know, do you think this is a move that the Saints have been contemplating for some time now, or you think it was just spur of the moment? This is contemplated and this is calculated. Why? College football playoffs, they start tomorrow. So if you bring in A.B. and you get a little bit of backlash, it'll get hidden behind Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, Jalen yeah. Hurts, and all of that. Yeah, this, you know, and it'll okay. get hidden. You typically don't work somebody out on a Friday. You typically work a player out on a Monday or Tuesday, whatever the team designates as their off day. So to work Antonio Brown out, on a Friday, before the college football playoffs, which happened on Saturday, when you know that's going to take news, because like you just said, we got to move off topics, I think it was very it's pretty. It's pretty simple. Look, something of this magnitude you definitely discuss, because otherwise, because when you do it, what it does is it gets moved to the A's of all the top shows, mm -hmm. just like this one. So yeah, and you here gotta, we are. You, you got to know that that's what's coming. So you obviously they've talked about it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.